What's up, ladies and gentlemen on Facebook? We're going to begin the show here in just a couple moments. We're getting everybody ready here. Yeah, so everybody that has a Facebook, get on there right now and share this. Give us a like. You can see me a smidgy. Give us a like on You can see you a smidgy. Prove that I left my phone in the other room. Oh, you, I mean, you can do it if you want, but you don't have to. Do you want to grab it? Yeah, I could. You're totally mobile right now. Go for it. Is okay. Because we're not even on the show. Yeah, we're yeah, not even on the Just away. Okay, yeah, I want to go get my phone. That yes. way I have that would, it. That'd be great. Or yeah, in case might. I need to make reference to anything. Exactly. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, um, no, I, uh, I I have Facebook, but it's just like a work thing. Yeah, yeah. Is it like a page? Yeah, it's a page. It's okay. a work page. I can't yeah. actually respond to people on anything. I can I can basically like post like we're doing this story on this. Yeah. Or what do you think of Trump? Like, and then, oh boy, you know. <laughs> yeah. You've seen the reaction. Yeah. I have seen them. Shoot. Mm. All right. Um, is everybody ready? I need to still share this, which I am okay. right now. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> There's another one here. Twisted hand. Look at There's that. There's another one here for you, Tim. Oh, that's the best I can do. Oh, another one. Yeah, beautiful. you can put that one on. Oh. I'll put it on my uh, warped hand. There you go. <laughs> okay, now. I there you go. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's the best I can do. I, mean, I can try to knock it down, but. Oh, by the way. This is a little soundboard that we play. There's gonna be it's gonna be full of really dumb sounds. So oh, just let okay. it roll. Don't even worry about it. It must and be ninety percent of me, I'm sure. <laughs> we didn't put any clips in here. Oh, We're just gonna let you. Really should. Yeah, we should. <laughs> We're just gonna let you. It'd be really dumb. <laughs> it's gonna be great. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah. Have you? Have you? Have you I believe. Shared? I, yeah. You know, I'm good. Let's just roll. Let's just roll. Let's roll. Okay. Uh, Holler Nation. It's time for episode one. Let's Holler do this. Nation. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right, this is an intro, and I don't think everybody's heard it yet. This is... It's going to be fun. This is... All right. You're a part of something cool. This is episode yeah. number one. Yeah, this Do is... I need earbuds for this? Yeah. No. I'm going to hear right. it. Okay. You're going to hear it just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go, everybody. Ready? Three, two. Holler is intended for mature audiences only, so your mom is definitely invited. Sometimes controversial. Always engaging. It's the podcast that lets your voice be heard. It's the podcast that shouts you out. It's time to holler. Can you dig it? I get you up in the corn one day through a pop tart. Touch your shoes. You like the jizz part? Yeah, I like the way it explodes. You like it? And just swallow it down. Oh my god. Your tweets, snaps, Facebook comments, and even phone calls. Holler is the place to be. Holler any way you want. I used to give kids opiates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first official episode of Holler. It is a podcast that shouts you out on the internet. We use all social media platforms to get in touch with you. My name is J.D. Short. Uh, and to my right is my good friend Brian. What's up, Brian? How are you doing? Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning into this. And as, as J.D. just said, this is episode number one. We are so looking forward to shouting all of you out, all the different ways. We have so many, so many fun things to open. Um, we've got a great guest, but we also, as always, we have our third co-host. It's Gracie. Gracie, just say hi. Hi. That's all she's got That's for it. you. That's it. She's over there doing her thing. Chilling out. Uh, and joining us for the first episode of this uh, wonderful uh, show is uh, a wonderful man from WSAZ News Channel 3 in Huntington and Charleston here in the beautiful, wild, and wonderful state of West Virginia. It's Tim Ear, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing, buddy? Thank you. Are you sure it's not Ur? Most people say Ur. I've been getting Ur since I was in kindergarten. I have always heard it's Ear. Is well, it, it is Ear. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. Like, oh, God, we've been yeah. saying that wrong the whole no, time. No, it, it is Why? Ear, but I, I never bothered to correct anybody. I would have figured, yeah, figured Ur would have been a little, there would have been a U in there somewhere, probably. Right, that's, made, see, you little must little be a linguist, <laughs> because you know, most people aren't. Very cunning one, by the way. Yeah. Just Timmer. Oh, that's, people say that all the time. Hey, Timmer. And oftentimes a nickname. People just say Timmer. 
Oh wow! Uh, so you think it's because like they they could have a speech impediment possibly? It would be something it is that, possible. Know. I mean, I run, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be I'm not going to be you know hold anything against anybody. Good, you know, that's they, good. They want to say it, they can say it. Well, Tim, thank you so much for being on our show. Thanks We're, for having we me. We have a lot of fun stuff uh, ready for you here. Um, you know, we've got some topics we're going to talk about here. We're, we're going to be connecting with all of our social media friends. We've got a lot of fun ways we've reached out to them this week. Um, and we're going to get some really fun audience participation. That's what the show's all about. It's, it's, uh, we holler at you, you holler at us. That's how we do it. Um, how do you think they're going to take the name change? Uh, they already have. It's done. I mean, do you we've think done. they're going to be cool with it? Or? I think most people have gotten it. Well, okay. we used to be called the Snappy Hour. It was yeah. a Snapchat-based sort of right. show. But now right. we realize we can just... We can use it all. Holler. It's all the same. I am, I'll tell you what, I am predicting, Tim, that a few people, a few people may have not gotten the memo, and so I'm, I'm predicting that maybe I open a, a snap or a tweet or something that says, wait a second, where am I at right now? And so, you know, we'll just roll with it. Okay. So, so, uh, I'm going to pass down some, some fun little party favors here, because that's what we do on the show. We also like to have a good time with you on the internet and, uh, have some drinks. Um. Ooh, apple juice. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Huh? That was a wink that I did. You can't see that or hear that on it. <laughs> Friday nights at midnight. I caught apple it. Juice. It like he got it over a right here. Nice. <laughs> um, okay, so before we do anything, I'll tell you what we're going to talk about a little bit here. We're going to have some fun with Tim. Um, we're going to uh, have some fun sort of segments for you that we've put together that, that again, no big mm-hmm. pressure. You're going to love them. It's <laughs> actually going to be a lot of fun. Can't um be. We're also going to talk about uh, the big deal that's been happening recently, I think, on the internet and everything has been Disney+. Plus. We'll sure. have a little bit of combo about that. And also, uh, did anybody out there receive a weird, strange text uh, this past November, uh, very late in the evening? A lot of people did, and we're going to talk about this. And not, I mean, we don't mean your own personal life. A lot of stuff. Uh, where are you already shouting people out right now? Yeah. Gosh. Okay. Gracie stays in her own world. Maybe Gracie's the one behind it. Yeah, <laughs> <Gracie> <laughs> <shows>. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is it's Gracie. <laughs> uh, so uh, everybody grab your cocktail of choice to, to begin this show. Ours, of course, is the Jaeger bomb. That's what mm-hmm. we're doing here. Um, thank you so much, Tim, for being on the show. I would like to uh, give a toast to the first episode of Holler. Thanks for hanging out with us, y'all. Let's keep kicking it. Let's Holler. And it feels so good to be here. <laughs> Cheers. See you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is Holler. It's the podcast that shouts you out. But before we shout you guys out, we're going to shout out Tim Ear. He is in the place to be tonight. I'm just so thrilled to be here. I can't <laughs> even have to say it, really. I mean, it's just it's an honor to that anybody would even care enough to say, hey, <laughs> oh we'd God. like to invite you into our house. Right. And I've never been here before. Right. You don't know. I, I, what if I walked in and just like... You know, soiled myself on the floor. It would have been yeah. wonderful content. To be yeah. You know, at any time that, that could happen. When, anytime you let open the door to a stranger, you guys never paid attention to that. You know, we, said, we actually like, just said walk in the door to strangers, and then I'm just this guy. You don't know who it is. I literally <laughs> said just walk in the door, yeah. and she did. Yeah, just go ahead and walk in. And the, dog just walk in. the dog isn't vicious. <laughs> Great. Oh Jesus. Oh, yeah. we've really set ourselves up for Sorry. this. Um, so Tim, have you ever done a podcast? Podcast before. I mean, you've probably done maybe interviews, okay. seg- things like that. But, but. So yes, I, 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 I've done some podcasts, um, you know, similar, you know, some, some local things. Right. But the one that I'm most intrigued about, after this one, of course. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I mean, after this, no, of course. After this one, <laughs> my daughter <laughs> asked me the other day, she's, she works for the App Association in Washington, D.C. Okay. And so they work and lobby on behalf of, you know, anybody who's, you know, works, who has an app, okay. basically. 
Um, and so she said, hey, one of our clients would like to have you on her podcast. And I was like, oh, thanks. I, mm -hmm. She probably wants to talk about really cool things. Yeah. And, and she said, no, what she wants to talk about is adults with ADHD <laughs> who are working in professional I'm assuming, capacity. I'm assuming you. Well, I said, what, are, are you assuming that I have ADHD? And, and she, she's like, Dad, you know, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, no, okay. but she's not kidding. She's not, she knows that I have ADHD. Okay. I do. And so, you, uh, apparently you've been living with it pretty good, it seems like to me. I mean, I would say with... How yeah. long have you what been? What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It's the ADHD joke. What are we talking about? I'm so there proud of you. You've made it to the point in your life where you're like on the Viagra commercial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And so, you know, I, I think that, yes, I can cope with this. And I can do it and I can talk about it. Because they never diagnosed me when I was a kid. The only thing that ever happened was the teachers would say, like my mom would have to go into the St. Sebastian School in Pittsburgh and where I grew up, and she'd say, she'd come home just sh shaking her head like, oh my God, I did it. And it would be the same kind of thing every single year. Timmy's a nice boy. It would be, you know, that would sister that's Diane. How it leads. That's how it leads. Sister yeah, Sanfros in first grade. Sister, like, it was just one, one nun after another, and they'd say, Timmy's a nice boy, but he doesn't pay attention in class, and he just gets up and kind of goes and does his own things in class. And I, I did. That's mm -hmm. what I did. I just, I had this hyperactivity, but mainly I had a really hard time paying attention. Okay, I and got so you. So I've, I've managed to like actually like cobble together some sort of living, and it's okay. And that's wonderful. I mean, would you, I mean, so you report the news for WSAZ, News Channel 3, mm -hmm. based out of Huntington, Charleston. You normally broadcast from Huntington, right? That's correct. Yeah, That's yeah. We have a we have a Charleston Huntington station. That's got to be a wonderful job for somebody with ADHD oh because God, you, you don't really have to stick with a story for yep. too long. It's yep. gonna be yep. in and out. You yep. know, you do like, the news, you bounce around, and then the best part of at the end of the day, everything gets wiped off the desk. Yep. And then you come in the next day and you start over. And it's again. all fresh. Again. All fresh. Wow. And there that, you go. that it is the. It's perfect really cool how they put it all together too. I went in there. Yeah. A couple to, weeks ago with Alan, mm -hmm. our good friend, my good friend, Alan Brown. He's been on the show. And before. he showed me all the cool stuff. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. He showed me all the cool stuff. Yeah. It's That's right. Awesome. And Amanda Barron, my, my co anchor at night, she also has ADHD. Okay. I mean, so you have two people who are, who are, who are <laughs> delivering the news to you who, who probably can't even pay attention to 30 seconds before <laughs> or 30 seconds and what's ahead in the future. How perfect, though. Yeah. I mean, really, it fits. Right. That's wonderful. Um, so. I wanted to talk to you a bit, like, did you, okay, we've got you on this show, uh -huh. because we just knew you were cool. <laughs> we, had, we had, like, I had ran into you. I need to record that. <laughs> I ran into you downtown <laughs> once. I ran into you downtown once, and didn't even know it was you until we started talking, and I was like, oh, shit, that's Tim. And, uh, uh, from, you know, from growing up, at least growing up part of my life yeah, watching long you, time, yeah. uh, here in town reporting the news and um, I just remember the conversation that we had was about Prince yeah. it was not too long after he had passed yeah. and you had made this great statement you said there are two kinds of people in this world uh, people who love Prince and liars yeah and that was a wonderful <laughs> way for me to be introduced to Tim here I think that's a lifted quote I saw on Twitter I probably think, could, I think, yeah I think, you I know think, which is I just loved it totally fine that's, that's so what we do. true that's how memes it's are done it's so true though and, and that's right. and that's your personal story so that's like, mine, like yeah. me like me for for Tim here who we just met this evening officially for the first time for me it's like you you are kind of this local celebrity status, but you're the kind of guy that will that will that will respond to a tweet if I send it. Um, yeah. You know, you'll you'll like a tweet of mine every now and then. We've always been connected on Twitter, whether yeah. you remember it or not. <laughs> we always have been, and uh, and that's cool because not everyone will do that. Not everyone will will say, "Hey, come into my Twitter world or my Facebook world." And and you you seem like the kind of guy that says, you know, uh, you don't have to put a boundary between that. Like if you send a tweet I like, I'm gonna like it. So that's I, cool. I think the the biggest thing that you have to remember when you get in into the, a job like this mm -hmm. um, where you're like on TV or you do something you have to and people who get into news the, the you know the divas they don't mm -hmm. they don't they still think of it like oh and everybody loves me because they oh, come boy. up to me at Kroger and say that you know I watch <laughs> you all the time so they, they you get this idea that everybody oh everybody loves me because they tell me at Kroger and everybody loves me because they well, don't forget, and this is one thing, and I, anytime I have a chance to talk to a journalism class, I tell them this. I'm like, if you ever get into that, don't forget that for for every one or two people to come up and, and say that to you, 
there's somebody else who's this walking by you going, I hate that guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know they do. And, they, and I know it. I know it. I know it. And I know it. And, and I, because that's the way TV works. It's I mean, we all turn on TV and be like, uh, you know, I... James Spader, uh, he's he's great in Boston Legal, but right. you know in in Blacklist, I don't like him because <laughs> yeah, right. uh, I don't like the way he shaves his hair. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, no, when you watch TV, point. you see people and you react to the way they look, the way they talk, the way they. And I know there are people who watch who go, I don't like that guy because his eyes bug out too much, and he must have a thyroid problem. You know, problem. You know what's <laughs> like it, You know what I mean? What's what's crazy though about that is is that it's now equating to social media. It's yeah. equating to. Right. Not everybody uh, can be on TV, but now everybody can go live. Everybody mm -hmm. now can share a lot of things. So I think more people are starting to realize that, oh, yeah. you know, maybe maybe we shouldn't care too much about what other people think about us. And, you know, like yeah, this, yeah, you unless can. it's good stuff. If it's good stuff, that's awesome. Thank and you and Tim, something we'll do here in the in the Holler Studios, and you'll see this from time to time. We've got we've got a small audience behind us at all yeah, times, and if they want to come up and say yeah. something, they're going to. So we've got something right now. Amanda on the microphone. What's up? Hey. Okay. So since everyone is talking about their first Tim Year memory, I want to share mine. Oh. <laughs> Listen, right. I'm slightly younger than mm -hmm. my good pals here. I was on I was on the school bus. We were going home, and we passed our good friend Tim here, and he was out raking leaves. <laughs> and I was so jealous because everyone was like, "Look, that's Tim here. I've met him at so and so." And I'm like, "What? I've never met him." But guess what? Guess who's in my house now? There so, you go. Ta -da. <laughs> plan on raking her leaves out front. <laughs> yeah, did you okay, see all that? Please do it because that's usually my job and that means I don't have to. fall after all. Yeah, so, yeah that's perfect. Yeah. So uh, recently you you actually played, you you played a show at the V Club yes. technically. Yeah. You DJed all DJ. vinyl at yeah. the V Club for the localization after party. We talked about this with Alan was on the show recently. All that. How did that come about? How What did you think about how that was... I mean, well, like, uh, Tyler Cooper, uh, who is is works at the V Club right. and is in bands and is in the in the scene Wonderful around here. Guy. We've talked before. We've talked about music. He knew I had a vinyl collection, um, and he knew that m the majority of my vinyl collection was. I mean, I'm 54 years old, so it was like <clears throat> it, it was, you know, a lot of punk yeah. and. Um, ska and reggae and stuff from the 80s. Yeah, from the earlier when and you were coming in. Right. To, to, yeah, yeah. Exactly. and so that's when I bought most of my albums. And I you played eight seconds. Yeah, seven, or, yeah. Or yeah. seven seconds. Yeah, seven seven seconds. seconds. Yeah, yeah, I played seven seconds. I played, it, but it was so much fun to, to do this. And I, I did, I was shocked that they asked me to do it, but I was so nervous. Really? Because, you know, it's like people are like, well, you're on TV. But it doesn't matter because <laughs> no, like I'm up there and I'm, I'm being a DJ in front of a lot of people and there are a lot of expectations. And after like the third song, my daughter ran up on the stage <laughs> and she was she started being like my hype, Mary yes. Margaret started being like my, my hype woman. And, yeah. and I needed that. And she said, like, Dad, you yeah. need to engage the crowd. You need to talk into the mic. That is where, that is where you got, that got that's where you hooked us. Because yeah. you were spinning and you were doing the thing, but people were... I think people were expecting you to, which I didn't even think about, and neither did Charlie Brown, who had trained me. Exactly, DJ Charlie Brett, Brown, uh, Brett Fuller, uh, aka yeah. DJ Charlie Brown Superstar. Yeah, he's a local so DJ here. Brett said, uh, you know, hey, just just spin it, and like he's not talking about the in Brett's show. That's what they're like. It's all music. And that's normally his case, but but uh, you're not Brett. And you know? I didn't realize that I had to be something different. And they, and she was like, no, they want to hear from. Mm -hmm. They do. And I was like, oh. So and you so, would, what you ended up doing was, was you would fun. play you would play the song. You would lead into the song with a small story about what it meant to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And I thought that's when you grabbed everybody and bam, that's when you had them because that's what I think people were wanting from that show. Um, are you planning on doing it again? Yes. Um, yeah. They asked me to do it uh, New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna do that's a big match. Yeah, does anybody else know about this? Is this kind of exclusive to uh, us? This is kind of exclusive. So this is a holler exclusive, everybody. There you go. Tim, do you ever sleep? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. No, actually, my, my wife is jealous of me because she doesn't sleep. Like, she'll fall asleep on the sofa before I come home from work because I yeah. usually get home from work about midnight or you know, around the sun. Yeah. And then she, she sleeps until like 2 or 3 in the morning and then 
she gets up for at four or five. It's crazy. Like, why? I'm like, why did you wake up? Oh, do you think I really wanted to? She said, <laughs> but you already know, starting the day. She's just saying, why? I just sleep <laughs> straight through till nine o'clock in the morning. So okay. I, you know, I get I get plenty of sleep. Okay. Good. Do you well, that's good. Mask do you need that? No, I just put the pillow over my head, which oh. at some point it will be really bad because you know. Yeah. If I piss her off enough, if my she wife, just a little pressure, lean on the pillow, just a little pressure. you would never know. Done. You would never know. Yeah, and now at least I put it out there so you guys can be like, if he died in his sleep, right, there's right. a suspect. Yeah. There you go. The police right. would love this. Video. It's out there. It's out there, people. So I, I, one more, one once. more thing, and then I'm going to pass it over to Brian. Brian's got something uh, really interesting that, that I think you're going to really enjoy. But before we go into that, I heard. Uh, from a friend. That never starts out well. I <laughs> heard that you, that you might have, and tell me if this is close to right or not, that you might have played an extra part in the original Dawn of the Dead movie. No. That's not true? Not true. Where do you think that rumor came from? Because it was Day of the Dead. It was Day, Day of the Dead! Dead! In Day of the Dead, which that came out what late seventies or early eighty seven? Okay, all right, so yeah, yeah, right. Because uh, we were in, I was in college. Okay, they put up signs in Pittsburgh. I was going to Duquesne up in Pittsburgh. You're a Pittsburgh boy. Yeah, yeah, born and raised up there. And so my they my my roommate, huge George Romero fan, huge of course fan of Fangoria magazine. Okay, of everything horror. Of you know, it's just that was his thing. Well, we see these flyers that are up, and it says. Extras needed for George Romero's new movie, Day of the Dead. I'm just like, what? Yeah. What are you talking about? They need extras. They need, okay, I guess they need for like these masks. That's how they used to scenes. do it, by the way, Brian. They'd put up flyers. Flyers. Ah, they, 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 didn't just tape, they didn't just tweet yeah. you, you know. Like yeah. with a nail? That's crazy. <laughs> a nail or a <laughs> tape. Nail or some tape. Nail? It was crazy. Meet time traveler. <laughs> 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 we at one time. Yeah, and, and really, you know, it was before cell phones or anything. Really. I mean, we're Do you know where the timestamp in the movie was? Can we see your face in this oh, clip? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you you you, <laughs> you can pull up later. I mean, yeah, no, no, but I I can show you. Don't okay, have we'll, Facebook. We'll, we'll find out. The only reason I know that is it's I sit and I because I, I was looking for a, another video. Yeah. Um, and and I realized that in the, in my favorites on my YouTube channel, I I saved that. I'm like, you oh. found the clip and you were like, yeah, and I saved it. I'm like, oh, that's right. I saved that as one of my favorites all those years ago. But it was it was Day of the Dead, and I got to play a zombie in Day of the Dead, and it was complete. My roommate was That's so pretty cool. pissed. That's ah! pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was so mad because you know it was, he was the one that got us there, yeah. and he's the huge. And I was I was definitely a fan. He knew, and we were both fans of horror, and yeah. Night of the Living Dead, and Romero, and Dawn of the Dead. So then when they said we're making Day of the Dead, and they we went to this mine. It was this uh, limestone mine outside of Pittsburgh. Okay. And so we shot every. It was underground, and they they took us underground. They everybody got. We walked up to a table similar to this. And they had gave us one dollar. Everybody got a dollar because they have to pay you something, you know, by union. So everybody gets one dollar <laughs> right. off a pad. They literally have like a pad, like a sticky pad. Of dollars everybody gets a dollar, right off. one dollar, yeah. and a bag lunch. And that was what you got your day for participating in this in this movie. And so then they said, okay, everybody, you know, you go here, you get into clo- into your costume, into makeup, and everything like that. And I got very lucky because they made because I had a short sleeve costume. Okay. So I had this like suit coat that came up to about here, right? And so they did my all my arms all blue. Oh, you got made up as blue. a real deal zombie. Made up, made up real Body zombie. parts, yeah. So I was up to here. So then when they said we need, hey, we need uh, give us you, you, and they they pulled about twenty of us out. That oh, and I, as I looked at the rest of the guys, they were pulling out. We were all like about the same same height. When uh-huh. they said line up against that wall, which is another thing you never want to hear in your life. Line up against <laughs> the wall. So we line up against the wall. That's quite morbid, Tim. And then yeah, they said stick your fun. arms out. And so we stick our arms out like this, oh, and you. they looked and they said, "You, one, you, you." And I got picked because I had short sleeves and I had full makeup. And you could see it all there. And then they took us further, and then they lined three of us up, and then we they took us to Tom Savini, who is the the makeup guru for all the George Romero stuff. Wow. And and he's you know he's he's directing one of the creep shows right now under Greg Nicotero from night from. Um, from Walking Dead, you know, wow. so and Nick Terra was there that day, which I didn't even know at the time. That's insane. We went to high school together. It was just like such, such a the final boss. Crazy. Like there's a picture that somebody showed me years later that they were like, That's you and that's Greg Nicotero. And I was like, What? <laughs> like I I didn't know he was there. But I, 
because I didn't know anything. You know, well, he, was, right. well, he was two or three years ahead of me in high school. I didn't know he was at even on the set. Your friend was, is so pissed. It if was your worked, friend oh, is watching just, now still. <laughs> you know, he was just, you know, so they said, uh, you know, Mr. Savini's going to uh, judge. And so we, we right. stick our arms out, and then Savini comes along, and he goes, okay, you, I need you. Yeah. And he took me, and he said, you're going to be the guy that we have this fake head, mm -hmm. this appliance that we're putting on one of our actors. The actor flips on top of these wooden crates, on uh, not crates, but wooden, uh, what are those things called, the pallets? Oh, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna flip on top of the pallets, all the zombies close mm -hmm. in on him, and you, with your long blue arms, um, are going to break the mold right here on uh -huh. the, the appliance. So we have the guy's real body lying on the pallets, they cut a hole in the palace. So that his, he can lean his head back. Yes, he sticks his head back, <laughs> wow. and then they put the appliance on, tuck it into his collar, mm -hmm. and that's where I had to break. They were like, see right here? He said, feel the soft spot right yep, here. Yep, that's and where you puncture. That's where you have to puncture wow. and pull. And then as soon as you puncture and start pulling apart, the blood will, will hit the blood thing. It'll start to squirt out, right. and then the rest of you all close in. And oh so God, I yeah. had to be the first one in. And he wow. was like... Dude, so you yeah. were, this is very pivotal. Oh, it was. This and, and so Tom Sabini, <laughs> like, who I'm like, yeah, like I know definitely. this guy, like, from because he's famous. Mm -hmm. And he's like, if you don't break that seal perfectly, I'm cutting your head off and you get put on there. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like be such an honor. I don't, I'd hate that. Right, but, I'd hate it a lot. That would be but really cool if Sabini had to cut my head off and use it. But, so I thought about blowing it just so I could have my head on the phone, oh, but, no. but it was so you cool. You obviously are like a right professional, was, and, and that's how you get Did you mad. get some of that fake blood in your mouth? What did it taste like? Uh, uh, corn, corn syrup. syrup. Corn syrup? Yeah, yeah it's corn syrup. sweet. just tastes like sweet. Yep. Yeah, and uh, so it was, it was, it was just well, crazy. Well, Tim, that's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Just had, just had to do it. Uh, Brian, you got a little something for us here. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, I do have a little something. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna change it up. Before I do, very similar story. Mine's much much shorter. Uh, I was actually going. So the people that are listening out there uh, may or may not be from the area. I was actually going to Marshall University mm -hmm. when they were making the We Are Marshall movie. Oh, I happened yes. to be there during Which, a very this interesting is the, This is a celebration weekend. Or, and it is a celebration. Yes, weekend. it is. It's yeah. a good time uh, to talk about. It's the anniversary yeah. of uh, the plane crash. Right. Today. That's right. So, so but this is when we remember all those people who died in 1970. Exactly. From right. to glory. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so, so heard, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just go ahead and hang on. Can I do this? Yeah, we've got it on there. There we go. Oh, look at you. Yeah, Something for everything. Just quick. Um, just quick. JD, JD at this point in time was, was gone. He was in Tennessee. But yeah, I, I was going to Marshall during this time. And just my funny little quip about this. Well, they gave us the option to be an extra in the movie. Uh, they gave us some rules. If you want to be an extra, this is what you got to do. Um, and they also, you could, if you were an extra in the movie, by the way, you could get excused from class. It's a real class e e exclusion. Just like a doctor's excuse. This is a big deal, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a straight business guy, Tim. So I was like, you know, I've got I've to complete my test. I've got to get this stuff done at the right time here. So I go to the library one day. Right in the middle of all this shooting, and they say there's no there's no entering the library today. And, and you know back then I said, well I've got I've got to go print my paper. It's literally due today. It's due in like in like 25 minutes. I've got to print this paper to go to class. They're like, you're not getting in the library today. We're filming the movie. Yeah, it's no close. one's making it past this point. It's and I'm like, what am I supposed to tell my professor? You know, I'm all concerned about this. But it's just a very interesting time that I went to Marshall, where they literally they at that period in time, if, if they were filming on campus, they cared more about that movie than you getting your paper. And your paper can wait till the next day. And that's what happened. So my paper did wait till the next day. And and you know it was cool for me because instead of my paper being due, I got to go home and maybe spell check a little bit more before I turn it in the next day. So, um, <laughs> but had many friends in that movie. But what a, a very interesting time to, to be at Marshall as a student I because be yeah, because we, we had McConaughey here, we had Matthew yeah. McConaughey here, and you didn't know if you're gonna run to him at Subway or on campus, right, which right, we right, did. Right, yeah, right, exactly. Right, That's great. That's great. Yeah. Anyways, moving forward. I have a surprise segment that you don't know about, Gracie doesn't know about, uh, I pulled this out of nowhere. I have actually had listeners pre-call into the show and leave some voicemails yeah, we to do put have you a, on the spot. Here we, we go. Have, we have a hotline, by the way. We do have a hotline now on Holler. The Holler hotline, hotline by the way, is... Um, uh, this is where the hate comes in. This is where it's... Just to let you know what the hotline is. Goes south. Maybe, uh, maybe take another sip of the drink. Yeah. This what, is where the actual number challenge you to kill him <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> right. The number is, by the way, 681-378-2099. Again, that is 681-378-2099. You can call that number, leave a voicemail for any show we're ever doing. Leave it anytime you want, 
we will field them and we'll put them on the show. That's how another one of the different ways that you can holler at us and we holler at you. Uh, but right now, it's 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 a segment you want to call Ask Tim Ear. It's, that's right. It's time to holler. So uh, this is called Ask Ear. That's right. So what I instructed our holler audience, who was, it was our previous snappy audience coming over to a new podcast, I said, guys, we're going to have him on here. This is a segment called Ask Ear. You can ask him one question, anything you want, and we're going to ask him live on the show. Tim, if you're put into a spot that you don't want to answer, of course, just pass it on. We'll keep going. We've got plenty yeah, of these questions. Hey, I, I think don't... we should call the segment Lend Me an Ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Boy. I thought so bad. I so All right. Bad. I'm out of here, guys. I tried See, to think of a few I already so bad. I'm just going to force me to leave. I already hashtag it. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> What I, what I would like to do here is maybe open up a couple, and then I will do my own ask here, and then we'll go from there. You know, we'll just roll with this. Here we go. Um, the first one, by the way, is, it could be possibly the most interesting. I'm going to open this one via Snapchat, and this one comes from a Snapchat listener all the way from Iceland. Her name is Berglund. Oh, wow. That's her name. Okay, she, Berglund. she lived here in Huntington for a while. She so did. She knows oh, yeah. of you. Cool. Okay. And, um, and, yeah, we reached out to her, and she has joined the Ask, the ask Ear segment. So here we go. This is Berglund. Favorite country and why? Well, favorite country and why? Well, I guess it would have to be where I live, right. like in the United States, because I'm really familiar and comfortable here. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I think that um, I, when I travel, maybe yeah, where where where, where, you, where, I, where I've traveled outside of here. Like I mean, that. the obvious is like I like home, right? Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, but I, I think I went to the Azores, um, which was a big surprise. Wow. Um, halfway between, you know, it's it's like mid Atlantic, right? And it's like the stop off point. I was doing a story with the West Virginia National Guard, and we flew to the Azores uh, on the way to Germany and Turkey, and, okay. and we were going to Kosovo then, ultimately. Wow. So it was like this big mission thing, and we were so they we stopped in the Azores. I was blown away. I was like, "What? Why are we so what? Like halfway in the Atlantic? Well, we need to refuel." <laughs> oh, okay. And it's it's a Portuguese island. Okay. That is just we ate at these seafood. Restaurants in these little tiny villages. Oh, the food must like have been cuts, amazing. You know, they have... I mean, really, that's it's kind of like it, it looks like something that you'd see that if you'd imagine, um, like old Havana kind of look. Oh, I see. You or know? like Saint Martin, or like those yeah, areas where like just you know, and but just everything's just beautiful because everything you know, you're on an you're an, on an island, yeah, and you can see in some parts where you're up on top of a hill, both sides of like you can see all sides of the island, oh, and so. Wow. It was just absolutely beautiful. The Azores was amazing. When I went visited uh, relatives, my, my grandma came over from Ireland, so we went to go see all the relatives in Ireland when I was a little kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think I was too little to remember a lot of it, mm-hmm. but uh, just spectacular. Wow, what a, what a wonderful there. answer. That Honestly, I was like, fun. some people would say Canada, Mexico, or yeah. like I went to the Bahamas once. Yeah, Canada's great. cool as hell. I mean, it really <laughs> is. But, the Azores was just like because it was. I was blown away by it. I was like, I didn't know anything about this. And then that's probably yeah having that that sense just of surprise. Absolutely right gorgeous. It was beautiful, beautiful island. And I that's found awesome. out a lot of people do you know hit it up for vacation because it's it's kind of the quiet, out of the way place. And mm, that's the good stuff right there, people. Cheap. Like we ate, we fed like an, an entire army, like literally, because we was national. And and it was like. I was like, how much is my bill? I thought, and they, we had beers and, and yeah, fish and yeah. everything was all fresh. Mm-hmm. 20 bucks. It was just uh, crazy. It was crazy. Glory be. It was so much fun. Berglund really struck a chord here. I'm expecting like a sentence answer here, and we like we, we went oh, deep. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Well, I'll keep all the other ones short. Yeah, that's, 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 that's fantastic. <laughs> Feel free. If you've got stories, this is the place yeah, to do it. Exactly. Exactly. All right, so here we go. I, I'd never heard of that, so I learned something mm-hmm. right there. Um, all right, so... Listen, this is my first time uh, running this app on the yeah, show. This is so sort we'll, of a new we'll, yeah, this is we'll, we're we'll going to be working some kinks out. Here we go. Okay. Um, we're going to open one. This looks like it's from Ethan in Kentucky. Let's play this thing, see if we can hear it properly here. Here we go. Let's load it up. Hey, Tim. This is Ethan from Kentucky. And I was wondering if you were into video games and if you were a Nintendo person or a Sega person. Okay. I'm, I'm so Sega. old. I'm an Atari. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, cool huge, fucking huge throwback. Atari. I had a 2600 uh, that I just sold. Okay. I mean, I say I had it all these years. Wow. 2600 with the Activision games and yeah. everything. And I what was say, your favorite game on that system? Um, it, on the Activision system, because you could get different cartridges. And yeah. they, they, you know, Activision had 
Um, they did a lot of sports stuff. Yeah. I, I just wore myself out on tennis because it was a good two person game. Yeah. Um, and hockey was fun because you could like oh, hit each hockey. other with a stick. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was yeah. crazy. That it was is fun. great. So yeah, it was good times. But Missile Command was my favorite. Of the Ooh, okay. I just love it's still a classic. It's still, it's still very that doable. Still, yeah. And you know, you know, JD and I, we grew up on Nintendo. However, I will say, when I was very, very young, probably seven years old, at my babysitter, yeah. like either Nintendo, you know, was just coming out or whatever. She had an Atari there, and I, and I played a lot of Atari. Still so cool. like, yeah, still we, a blast. We, and we still is in, today. We graduated to Nintendo. And I went, you know, I started playing, of course, all my friends and I all did Nintendo, but because right. everybody did. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when I was a little, little kid, Atari was... That's the, the one that really burned into the Yeah, brain. yeah. When you're, when you're small, you know, the memories are strong. And, and so, yeah, right. it really, you know, that's when you're developing those memories. And so, that was a lot of fun. That's fantastic. Cool. All right, so it looks like we have one from Adam, possibly in Charlotte here. That's what Google Translation tells me. Let's, let's <laughs> click on it and see what happens here. Okay. Your surprise is my surprise. Yes. <laughs> exactly. That's how we do this. My name is Adam. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, and my question for Tim here is: If you could order a pizza right now, and it was the last pizza you were ever going to be able to get, question. would it be a Gino's pizza or a Giovanni's pizza? Whoa! <laughs> this is a food, food fight. This is a hashtag food fight question, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I guess Gino's I, versus Giovanni. I guess I can't answer Mama Lucia's. And he didn't Pittsburgh. give you that choice. Gino's no, okay. Gino's yeah, we didn't. Yeah. Okay, okay, so talk about no pit beats. Uh, Gino's or Giovanni's? Um, You've been okay. here long enough. I think you it's, know. It's going to say, I'm going to say, there's a, it's a cop-out answer, but it's not because this is how I really feel. <laughs> God, this it's is great. It's equal. I mean, I, really? oh, I love Ooh, both of them. I mean, no. because I oh, love boy. food. <laughs> I think people will be like, here, yeah, would, yeah I'll eat it. I'm and you know, some people will be like, I don't like little Caesar. <laughs> after it gets kind of cold, it doesn't. Well, I'm like, well, then eat, eat it before it gets cold. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. so pizza is great too. Really, 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 really like like food. Food. I really love both of them as well. I just um, like them. I mean, yeah. I just like food. I'm not going to be like, uh, I don't like Gino's. Or I like Giovanni's better than. I, I'll eat them both. I mean, give them. Here, I'll tell. I'll, Take two of them, wrap one up into the oh, other. Oh, yeah, just put one on put top one of the other like a sandwich. Fold it, done. <laughs> done. Yeah. Same. That's yeah. a great idea. It's a great We're going to do it next week now. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's open up one more before I go to my own personal one here. This one looks like it comes from Barb in Huntington. Let's load this thing up. I like how you said that, Barb. Barb, and I, that's my, that's my oh, podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> it, it exists. <laughs> Not all of us have makeup on like you. <laughs> Because um, you have to, right? You have to. Oh, God, he's going to. You have to. See, I was figuring it was we would come into this. Uh... <laughs> yes, of course I have. It was it's bound to happen, <laughs> but there's a snake in my boots. Yeah, there's a snake in my boots. Yeah, of course I've dressed up. Because everybody has always said, when I first started anchoring, people would send me, I swear to you, I, I would get Woody dolls and pictures in the mail. Oh, band. my God. I never even oh thought about that. I have They'd a actually doll. send them to you. Yes. I have but a why? doll. Why? <laughs> what is that? Oh, well, it's like, it's, you look just like them. Well, it's kind of, I mean, it's a term of effect. It's affection. It's affectionate. And I, did, I didn't see it, of course, because you never see yourself as, you know, something else. Oh, so wow, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know that. And so, um, I, you know, I was just like, <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I, I do kind of see, you know. <laughs> And so then, you know, Somebody and then I was like, in the water a little. it's, it's good because, you know, it's a good character. And so, yes, there I am. There is a photograph. <laughs> there we go. Woody and, and Bill Murray, who you say, yeah, Murray, Murray, yes, as Buzz Lightyear. Yes. Yeah, so That's it fantastic. So, it exists. Wow. Yeah, so that makes I, a lot of people happy. Now, right this, now this picture's on Instagram a bit. A bit. Yeah. Wow, there we go. They asked me to dress <laughs> like that for, there was a, a show at the Keith Albee Theater, and we had to come out and like do a couple lines and then walk off the stage. Mm -hmm. And they had me dress as Woody. And, and I was like, that's cool, because, I mean, it, it's a good character. It's not right. like... You know, but no, you were we probably like, all right, from this Manson, point, yeah, you know? from I mean, this point right, on, though, you could be worse. Just be yourself. Yeah. You were probably like, from this point on, though, let's go ahead and squash that. We're 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 moving past no. it now, right? No, 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 no. 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 Because the Toy Story it. has just continued. You're right. And like it's a it's fourth a, one now. You know, until he turns into like, okay, well, now it would be like WWE. All of a sudden, like, <laughs> well, he's going to be a bad guy now. 
Ooh. He's gonna be a serial killer. Woody oh, the serial geez. killer. And then what? And then I'd be like, Oh no, I guess I don't want to yeah, be. That's the oh, one. Yeah, that's maybe But I think I'm old enough that I've I've gotten over that. I have a Facebook question. Got pretty question. morbid yes. there. Yeah, go for it. So Justin Murdoch says, I want to ask him why he left his red hair behind. He was always a ginger. Bring it back. Bring back the ginger. What is this story? What is this story? Um, your red hair is what he's talking about. No, the, the closest I could come, my daughter has red hair. I mean, you know that, Pierce. My, my, she you said you were hair. Irish. Well, I'm Irish, and when I would grow, you know, a few days growth. Ah, I see. You okay. know, when I just let it grow for a few days or like... Not like my big bush on vacation. Yeah, like bit, just, yeah. I mean, because I'd, I'd grow it more if I could, but... The, it would be like a kind of like reddish kind of. It would look like one Rusty. of those Canadian hockey beards. You know? <laughs> It'd be like yeah, reddish brown, some black. You yeah. Know? Well, the first thing that went when I got you know older, um, when I matured, mm. the first thing the reds turned gray, and so I had I lost all the red, oh, okay. and it just turned gray. So I got old. I lost a lot of hair. Um, I had a few reds up here, but really not red. My my hair was always like brown. Um, when I had more hair, but I this see, okay. was, but it, the beard was kind of so I don't know, maybe maybe that's maybe, maybe he saw, saw that. me with the beard. Yeah, maybe he saw that and just was you know equating yeah. that. To me. Yeah. You don't sound so much Irish as you do Irish. Irish, to yes. Mm. Or oh, that's just yeah, that's that's very, <laughs> some of them. Yeah. Who knows? Okay, so <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we got a million of them out there. Yeah, folks. yeah this, this is part of our life. Tim, my question to you is: um, Do aliens exist? Do you believe in this? Do, could, do they exist? Could they exist? Let's go there. Well, I was told that they do because um, I got a call when I worked at, at WSAZ Charleston. Okay. And I just started there. So I was like, nobody knew. Well, these, these, I got a call that, you know, hey, we've got this. Um, it sounded completely legitimate. Um, we have some stuff we'd like to discuss with you um, about, it's an investigative story. It might do you have time to meet? Um, and I said, well, you know, I'm thinking if I want to meet somebody, I want to meet them in public because I don't know who they are. Um, they don't know who I am. They were just calling the station and they asked for me by name, but they still, still didn't know. I didn't recognize them. Didn't so they, I said, yeah, let's meet at the Hardee's um, in Dunbar, like on the way back around South Charleston. Okay. So, um, cause I was living in Charleston at the time. So um, we met after work and it was this, this gentleman and a woman, you know, in their forties, fifties, maybe, um, and I was probably 28 years old at the time. Um, and they, they had some, like, you know, some binders and folders. They looked very official. They were dressed, you know, normally. They spoke in a normal, everything seemed to be fine. Right. And they said uh, that there would be a, soon be a landing, that would be a landing, <laughs> a, a ship would be landing um, from another world. Okay. And it was going to land in, I think it was Arizona, I think. Uh -huh. I can't remember. Probably. But it was out west somewhere. I just remember it was out west. And they said, um, and we wanted to see if you could get, you know, bring a live, have a live truck there, and you could do the broadcast. Give you the exclusive. Give me the exclusive. And wow. I said, well, what, what? And and I couldn't understand. And before I even got into the whole idea of like, yeah, I could just imagine I'll walk into my boss and be like, hey, boss, I've got to disappear for about two weeks, and I'm going to take the truck, the satellite truck. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to need an engineer <laughs> to come with me. Um, and we're going to need some live equipment and everything like that because I've got to be and a per there diem as well. for roughly two weeks, they say. They said it'll take about two weeks and with the landing is expected at this time and, you know, and everything. And they were like perfectly like talk, talking to me like legit, like yeah. landing to be two weeks, almost like they were describing like a Just planning routine. for a parade. Routine, yeah. like this is the way it's going to be. And, and I, I finally, I asked them, I, I, I said, you know, I just started here. <laughs> you know, and I'm I'm not on the air or anything. I've done some on the air at some other places, right. but um, it's been a while since I've been on the air. I just started here as the Charleston news manager. Uh, I'm basically like an assignment editor. Like, why me? Mm -hmm. And the guy just said, "Well, because they said you were the one." And and that just gets weird. And I was weird. like, oh. "Yes." And I was like, <laughs> you know, so the, the the aliens said I was the one. Yes, I was the one. So. I've come. The people at work now, who I still work with, they always tell that story at work. They're like, he's the one. He's he the, one. the one. I'm like, what do you mean? And then they tell the story about it. I'm like, oh, he's the one because the alien said he was the one. So yeah. I keep waiting the one with the for like the Richard Dreyfus moment where they're going to come down and take me up. Okay. Because well, if I'm the one, what are they waiting for? Yeah, bound to happen. It's bound to happen. If you're watching this, 
Here I am. Yeah, you found him do live it right on now, yeah. live on our very yeah. first episode. Yeah, we're broadcasting this like, out into the do universe. Come and have a minute. Whatever <laughs> happened to those suitsayers? So, <laughs> we're, 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 we're having a blast with you, man. This is so much fun. I want to do a quick thing, real, real quick. We, we're going to come back to some more yeah, uh, yeah, ask your questions later on. Um, but we're also going to open up uh, some social media responses for a lot of the things that we've put out there. But um, this has been a wonderful part of the show, kind of sort of a halfway point here for us. Cool. Um, but I have a thing here that I'd like for you to do. Um, a lot of people uh, nowadays are, are talking about fake news, mm-hmm. of course. Um, so I wanted to do a segment on this show called Real Fake News <laughs> with Tamir. We have written, <laughs> That's great. We have written three going. fake news okay. articles. Okay. Uh, we really wrote them. They are fake, however, none of them are real. And we would like if you if it's possible, um, and you and you've already like you know presented yourself so well on the show, it's fantastic. But can you get into your anchorman situation? Pull yourself into this. And what I'm going to do is play a little jingle. Okay. And what I'd like for you to do is pick one of these three and 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 read it this copy. Okay. As if you're reporting a real story. Okay. Um, with as much gusto as you can. Okay. We're gonna there's three of them. Um, it's your discretion which one you do first, second, third, whatever. Okay. Um, you have not seen this before at all. This is confirmed. You have not seen no. this script whatsoever. There are going to be some words you probably can't pronounce on purpose. We did that on purpose. Okay. But again, I'm going to hand this to you. I'm going to play a jingle and then pick one of the three and read it. Then we're going to do it two more times. Okay? okay. Maybe With for the this... same story or just... No, nope. there's okay. three, three stories on three stories. You okay. get to so pick which total. one you want to do and what order yeah. you want to do. Maybe for the sake of your ADHD, you just go in order. <laughs> you just go in order. <laughs> now, now, do you want me to, like you're saying, like, gird up? Because when we do the news, like... Right. The, 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 we're, we just Please talk tell like me this. more about how you do the news. We just, do, we just talk like this. You because just talk. years ago... They used to speak in a voice ah. that was very yeah. Do you want to pick one, one to do it and that way? That was, I think they just, because it came from radio. Like, so TV, okay. everybody ah. came from radio. And in radio, they had, you know, and because yeah, right. they had to enunciate because half the time people were listening to some, you know, a wooden box yeah. that was going. <laughs> yeah, so you had to really so push they it had out to, you know, and they <laughs> enunciated, and, you know, so okay. that just stuck for a while. And then, okay. then at some point in broadcast school, they said to broadcast journalists, Dude, just talk. Yeah, like we, we have normal microphones now. We have microphones. So that's what we do. Yeah. Okay. So we just talk. We so just in that case, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just so if basically. If you want me to be that, I will read the <laughs> words like that. You can do one of them that way. Okay, good. Then can we advice? do maybe one of them that way? It's up to you. That so way, if you guys have me saying bad words, I can <laughs> say no bad, no. it was in character. Yeah, there's yeah. no bad words in this, actually. Okay. Uh, but there are some really weird ones. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to pass this on. Yeah. Brian, you're going to pass it on down. So I'm going to play choices. this jingle. Three okay. choices there, Tim. There you go. Okay. Uh, we'll get it we're going to go ahead and start one. This is, Cold read. Ladies and gentlemen, this is real fake news with Tim Ear. Let, let's go. This just in, aliens from the planet Grunfalak have taken over the Huntington, West Virginia suburb of West Huntington, from First Street all the way to Camden Park. They have decided to establish a cast system similar to the original classic film, The Warriors. I, for one, welcome our new supreme overlords and all the glory to the Warnyak. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, there's one. Fantastic. I won't look at the others. That's that was much right. weirder than expected. I, I really also have not read that, by the way. All right, uh, two more. Are we ready? Are, Are you sure ready? that's not real? Because that sounded like... It <laughs> probably <laughs> could have really happened here. That's, that's true. Okay. Uh, two more. Are we ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, number two. Here we go. Is your child's bitmoji secretly... Their bully? <laughs> that little cartoon in your children's phone might not be so smiley after all. Tonight at 11, we learn why bitmojis equal bad. <laughs> Fantastic. I would put that story. I think I might start doing the music. Yeah. I don't think we need to bring the voice. Yeah, yeah put this on your resume for sure. Okay, yeah. This is wonderful. Okay, one more. Here okay. we go. This is the last one. And... Uh, Again, uh, real fake news with Tim here. Breaking news. All tutors are to close this spring and be replaced by a fast food chain called Nowhere Near As Good As Tutors. 
Bye bye, Mary B. We hardly knew ye. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Tim, for playing. For people who don't know what Tudors is. That's true. Uh, well, we've talked about Tudors. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a common sense. Okay. Yeah, okay. On the earlier portion of the show, we did that. But uh, <laughs> that's fantastic. Thank you for playing ever. along, Tim. Oh. Uh, your this voice, by the way, has a future. That. that was fun. I know I that feel, these guys did it now. I that feel like fun. you you have a future in voice acting. You had a rebirth on Holler. It's going down. That's good. You've been rebirthed. The problem is is that the people, I can't even do the voices at home anymore. Because my wife and my daughters are like, we've heard all this before. Oh, it's already been there. <laughs> so I no longer funny. Well, well, we we're now, yeah, we're now pushing you to a new audience here for this yeah, stuff. Right. So. I got a new audience That's because they get sick of me at work. Because like, But we have a high turnover at work, so new people come in and I can be like, I do the Truman Capote voice. Oh, wow. And then, then they're oh, like, well, what voice is he doing that? Like, So there's always a different <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. That arsenal. That's great. Thank you so much, Tim, for playing along. We're going to continue on with the show here. Uh, let's kick it, y'all. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a little break real quick, let everybody get acclimated. We're going to get ready for the next segment of the show. We've paused the actual podcast here, but we're still streaming live. Okay. So Facebook, I think we're going to right now use this opportunity to maybe field some of the Facebook questions and Facebook comments that we've kind of been putting out yeah, there. I mean, if people are, if that's, if, you yeah, know, the streaming is where some of the questions The are streaming is where the questions are. by the way, anybody who has questions that we don't get to, if you want to just forward them to yeah, them, yeah. I'll, I'll answer them each. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, awesome. If they're nice enough to actually care and yeah, send yeah. me a question, if we don't get to them, I just agree. forward them to me. And I'm, I'm sure of it. So, okay, we're going to get this set up for the next segment of the show here. Um, yeah, you guys, uh, do you want to kind of field some of that stuff? Sure. Right, so you take you take control. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, let's do that thing again where I can't feel the problem. Uh, it's freezing in here. Seriously, I am so cold. Freezing? Yeah. I'm so Yeah, I'm not cold at all. No, and my, my house. The dog's is, froze. Um, <laughs> oh. You're froze. My, my wife keeps our house like sub zero. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. Oh, sub zero. Yeah, you're ice cold. Um, Justin Murdoch. She's dead. To know. I'm anemic. <laughs> So oh, I'm well, probably that, too. Right you, you might, if, you, you need I might heat. pass out, yeah. If you're anemic, you need heat. Yeah. So Justin Murdoch would also like to note that he was once dressed as a literal ear of corn for a food drive. A WSAZ reporter came to interview me. They asked me my name and to spell it. And I said, <laughs> Tim Ear. Tim E-A-R Ear. They totally missed the joke. Oh. Oh, the worst. Oh, how do you miss that joke? Out of here. I'm glad. That, well, that's something, you know, I appreciate it anyway. He appreciates it. Don't worry, Justin. That's because you're probably Kenny Bass. <laughs> yeah. It may have been, yeah. Love you, Kenny. That's about it. Everything else is going high, too. It's going to get real weird, I'm sure. Yeah, that, I have no problem answering questions. I really don't. It's just... If people right, are... you get some more? Uh, no. No, way. you don't? Okay, I've got some Facebook stuff. Oh, you, I haven't read any Facebook stuff because we haven't talked about any polls yet. I know. So uh, fine, whatever. That's great. Okay. <laughs> I didn't read any Facebook stuff. Um, I'm actually just going to pop out some of the Facebook uh, uh, answers that I'd had. Um, this is actually a Facebook exclusive, ladies and gentlemen, so just to let you know. Um, my actual poll that I asked everybody out in the Holler Nation was uh, basically something super simple just to get the show kind of kicked off and started. And I'll say this all again when we actually start recording the podcast again, but uh, I wanted to ask people what their current go-to beverage is. It's whether it's soft or hard drink, it doesn't matter what it is, but but let me know what you dig. Uh, you brought up Tyler Cooper earlier. Um, he uh, responded that he liked squirt. <laughs> Have you guys ever had squirt? Squirt, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't that like, like a lemon lime? It's grapefruit. It's grapefruit. It's grapefruit. Yeah, grapefruit. It's grapefruit. That's what it is. So, yeah. Yeah. Except there was slice. Slice. Oh. I remember it had slice. Where is that? That is from? old school. No, that's old school. Yeah, old yeah. school. Uh, I got. I used to get slice at the old Dairy Queen. Right? Yeah. Wow. All that good stuff. Um, it's another like lemon lime kind yeah. of thing. So uh, let's see here. We've got Connor. He says that he likes Coke as his soft drink, but he likes whiskey for his hard drink, preferably scotch. That's his favorite thing. Uh, Cheyenne says that the Shrew Waffle Beer at uh, Bad Shepherd Brewing. 
Uh, uh, which you can get that at Black Sheep yep. here in Huntington, as well as some other places. That is wonderful. It is a yeah. spice vinegar ale. It is I like fantastic. That. It's really good. Good. Uh, Josh uh, Joshua says water and coffee too. Uh, <laughs> like both. Uh, we've also there. we've also got um, Rebecca who says that she is perpetually pissed that Taco Bell stopped offering Manzana Soul, which was a delicious apple flavored soda. I remember what? that one. Really? There was an apple oh. slice. I'm on a slice kick tonight. There was an apple. There was an apple slice. slice. There was an apple flavor. Taco Bell. Taco Bell offered apple slice. I need to look this up. Slice was like spice. Like, like half lemon and half lime ones. Yeah, it was literally like Sprite, but yeah. But it was already talking about. You're looking at other stuff. There's some like place that still sells. Oh, I was looking at. They use unfazed like this is where I. They use like apple. They sell like a little bit. They have apple. Is it tail wagon? You can't stop the tail from wagon. No. <laughs> you ready to do some uh, shots fired? Yeah, absolutely. Social media stuff. Here yeah, we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on yes. Facebook, we're coming back live on the podcast. Uh, hope you enjoyed that little exclusive mm-hmm. little stuff right there that we gave to you. Um, Tim? Uh, Sorry, I was distracted. Oh, you're good. No, you can play with the pot. No, he's going to come hang out with you. He might jump up on your lap. Just let you know. Good. Uh, all right, let's start this uh, next little deal here. Uh, let's kick it. Here we go. In three, two, all right, ladies and gentlemen, now's the part of the show where we do a part of the show called Shots Fired. Um, it is fun. We'll tell you all about it here in a sec. Shots fired. So guys, this segment of the show that we call Shots Fired is where we take the opportunity to fire shots about something while taking a shot of something. And that's just how we roll here on the Holler Podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and take the reins first here, kick things off. Tim, let me ask you, do you have a favorite cash app, a way to transfer money you know, via an app on your phone? Uh, what, what's your go-to? Um... I have, I mean, basically, I just use, like, the phone to pay. I just use the Apple Pay. Like, Apple, Apple yeah. Pay. Okay. Yeah, I just pay. use it, because that's just the it's most just, convenient. Yeah, yeah. Super, it's, um, super it's super right easy. And There's a million choices, but you use Apple Pay, and, right? And, I, and I'm and i sure that my daughter, you know, working for the App Association would be like, oh, my God, Dad, you're so 2018. <laughs> so I, I, I probably will have to increase my, um, you know, my apps when it comes I think to it's spend. a great answer. That's a great answer. That's yeah, fine. It's just easy. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Um, so with all these choices, right, uh, if you're a guy, uh, I don't know whether you run run a business or, or you, you do this or that, it's probably a great idea to have all the cash apps. That's my thought at least. So like, rather than just stick with one, I have my favorite. I'm a PayPal guy. I, I think PayPal is the, the most professional, cleanest, easiest for me. I feel the safest with it, the most secure. But um, then that goes from the old school days of, of using eBay and paying for everything right. on eBay. Anyways. So you're not Venmo then? Well, I'm getting to that. So here we go. So. So, that being said, I've got all these choices, and uh, I go ahead and download all of them. So, I've got a, a choice for if, if any of my friends owe me money for anything, maybe I go out and, and buy the drinks or buy lunch, and somebody says, let me just sh- shoot this over. I've got your app covered because I own it. Let's talk about Venmo. Owned by PayPal, by the way, which is my favorite app. Oh, that's true. Venmo is a whole different animal, though. You know, PayPal is yeah. very... It's a uh, social... Payments. It's and, a social. I don't like. And why? I don't care. So see, now you're in my shots okay, fired. There we go. This is what we're talking about. Here we go. So why? Why, when I want to send money to someone or receive money from someone, why is it also a social media game? As if we don't have enough of that already. And here's my example. <laughs> right. I'm on a podcast. All I about love, social media. Right. Scarlett got ten dollars. I'm like, I don't. You can care. fave. You can fave it. <laughs> you want to heart that? Yeah. Right. Like, I guess. I don't know. I, I just, um, so, so I log in and I'm trying to receive like a payment from a friend for like something serious, you know, like someone did came and did work for me and I was going to Venmo them money or something. Right. And I log in and not only do you have to fight through the social media aspects of Venmo for some odd reason when I'm trying to send money or whatever, um, you also see the entire timeline of like the Huntington area right. apparently. If, yeah. you're, fri- oh, yeah. if, if yeah. you're friends with a friend of a friend, you're going to see all... this on your, it's on your Venmo timeline, which I'm not sure why it exists. And let me give you an example. You can type anything you want on Venmo when sending someone money so right when I pulled my timeline up to send a serious payment about like yard work something came up for like like Will sends Sam money for farm fresh butt nuggets (laughs) it had like five faves why five faves already 
my face. Do you like why does that exist? I'm not sure why. It must have been for the plumbing bill, I guess. I don't know. I think that is what PayPal has done. I guess is said, uh, hey, if that's where 2019 is going to go, we may as well get a little chunk of that. So we'll make a thing called Venmo, and I don't know. Anyways, uh, social media shouldn't mix mix with uh, with cash apps. That's weird. Farm fresh yeah, butt nuggets. Jeez, Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> Definitely a shot yeah. Thank you for understanding. So uh, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i go next, uh, and then Gracie will go next. And then, Tim, if you want to kind of bitch about something, it totally can't okay. to you. Um, this is the point of this part of the show. It's, it's, it's actually like kind of cathartic to just get some things off your chest. Uh, yeah. I already forward. feel better. Yeah. <laughs> you already right, right, right. So this actually one, I'm going to actually, uh, this comes from a supporter of the show, Nikki, um, I wanted to shout out something she had brought up recently on a group text that we had had. She sent us a little video uh, about her f- recent frustration with people that don't understand how bright lights work on a car vehicle. Uh-huh. Okay, so here's the deal, y'all. Um, these things can blind people. Here's the deal. <laughs> these things can blind people when you're coming up over the hill yes. and they just shine right down into your eye socket. You you lose vision for a sec, and this honestly can cause head-on collisions here. People think because it's so dark or because it's so foggy, put these things on and you'll be safe. Um, people get it. No, it's good. No, we don't get it. Don't leave your brights on when other people are passing. If they're passing you, they can't see now because of you, specifically because of you. You're going to cause an accident, you son of a bitch. That's, that's, that's how I feel about this stuff. Have you noticed... Uh, I feel like I've noticed recently a plethora of people leaving their brights on all the time now. Not even, not even using them for the purpose they're supposed to be used for. I, Have you seen this? I feel the oh. need to, to sing a song about this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I hate Turn it so much. Them down yeah. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> now oh, well. Sorry, it had to go. <laughs> that was really good. See, that's the that's Jeez. the way the ADHD brain works. You know. Somebody. Uh, V's in the house here. Uh, hey, 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 everybody. Out my um, somebody from the audience is here to say something. We can even trump that. The person that has their low beams on, and when they get them. right ready to pass you, they flip on their high beams before they even get past you. So it's blind you right in the face. Oh, yeah. I hate that. Yeah. That You are a class act dude. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Get the hell off the road. Stop driving. Uh, so shots fired triggers people, Tim. This is how it happens. So so yeah. Feel up. it. Yeah. People yeah. know what's up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, take a there it is. Thank you dream. Okay, my turn. So, I was recently traveling. I went down to Charlotte this last weekend to visit Nikki and my friend Samantha. And I was just driving along and all of a sudden, the noise changes from my car. And I start to panic. I'm like, my tire's flat. I don't oh, know what's going on. Different. Yeah. The road changed. I hate when oh, the road the... changes and your tires make different noises. Uh, That's what is, made me mad. This is your <laughs> shot. That's what makes me mad today, okay? Because I painted. Okay, I'm no, I, I think alone. I know what you mean. When you're like when you cross state lines from like uh, West Virginia to Kentucky, to Maryland, or whatever, or yeah. whatever the the pavement. Yeah, it's like. Oh weird. my gosh! There we go. We're getting an actual yeah. idea from this. It's it's yeah. fantastic. Like well, it, it was. <laughs> I can handle my own. I travel alone a lot. Sorry, Mom, I said that out loud. But it just made me panic because I'm like, here I am all by myself, and then I'm going to have a flat tire. I mean, I have roadside assistance, but still, not the point. Make all the roads sound the same so I don't panic. Thank you. Use all the same material all the time. Good night. Socialize the roads. Make it sound the same, please. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead and take a shot. Shoot it down. Um, Tim, we got one for you. If you have something that's kind of irked you recently, would you like to kind of, I like, is there something that's kind of bothered you? And you can pass. That's fine. You can pass. I, I mean, I, uh, it hasn't. I mean, life's been, I know it's going to sound, oh, it sounds so smutty. But, but no, it's like, uh, yeah, there are definitely things that, that, that irk you. That, oh, Completely. It gets you a little, uh-huh. you know, it re- stuff that really, really makes me mad. Um, like what? 
Okay. Per, per, per <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, we are. One hour. Okay. We're going to pass that on there. You know, you know what, what, what really kind of makes me mad is... <laughs> I love it. It's genuine. Right this there. Is, what really kind of makes me mad is the internet. Oh, okay. And, and, All right. And it's not the internet that makes me mad, per se. It's the fact that, just as a whole, as a collective... We used to have, like, I saw a bunch of people angry today um, on Twitter, and, and they were angry about what happened at the end of the Cleveland Browns Pittsburgh Steelers game. Yes, I'm okay. glad that me. we brought that Oh my up. God. Okay, yeah. so at the end of that game, and I, you know, I'm some Steeler fan, I'm watching that they're getting killed, I'm like, whatever. Okay. Right. And, and so they. Eight then, seconds left. Eight seconds left in the game, game's over. Losing about two um, touchdowns. Miles Garrett, who's a tremendous player, a great, great player. A for beast. The Browns. He's a beast. He's yeah, a sure great, is. great defensive player. He, he, he's, he's tackling. The Steelers, you know, second string quarterback. Totally and, unnecessary. And, and he's taking them down extra hard with yeah. eight seconds. I mean, really, with eight seconds up, it's just all he has to do is. He's like, like triple yeah. wrenching. He's yeah. like triple yeah. wrenching. Well, yeah. the Steelers quarterback starts fighting back. He starts pulling it at Garrett's helmet, trying to like pull it off or whatever. Garrett gets up to his knees, gets up, up, and, and pulls the quarterback's helmet off. Mm-hmm. And then. Proceeds to hit him with it as the quarterback keeps charging him. Well, the quarterback should have probably stepped away. If I'm, like, I'm stepping yes. away from yes. Miles However, the NFL says we got to protect a cute quarterback. Yes, and quarterback. the frustration level is yeah, like, I mean, of course crazy. it is. So Especially anyway, all that happens. These guys are, you know, I'm not going to blame Miles to, too much. I mean, he apologized. He said, "Oh, I was so wrong. I can't believe it." Did. I hope he gets another chance. And I'm not obviously not a big Browns fan because I'm a Steelers fan. But I hope you know the guy. He's 24 years old. I hope he gets another. I hope he gets another chance. Chance, and then, you know I, he's going to be suspended for a while, but whatever. Yeah. Well, then you have people who just—it's like they don't have perspective on the mm. end. But it's like I don't have perspective. I'm going to say whatever. Well, this is what the kind of stuff that you read on social media is the kind of stuff, and we're all exposed to it. Yes. So I guess this is what. Give it to me, Tim. You. We're all exposed to it. We used to be able to sit like. If somebody has some ridiculous idea about like, well, he was right. He had a right to hit him in the head with the helmet because they, uh, they, they, uh, you know, they were bugging him, and right. that quarterback was down. Like, so they're, they're going to have some. Where the guy admitted after the game, I should never have done that. Right. Way. But you'll have people who say ridiculous they're crazy gonna, things. Stick with it. And you see it especially in politics. Mm-hmm. Oh my. True that. Lord, True you see that. Where there's some. Rid- Ridiculous thing where somebody just you know, and it doesn't have anything to do with Republican, Democrat, nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just like somebody says something that's so. Where the only time you would hear that is if you were sitting in a diner, you know, in pre-internet days. You're right. The guy, uh, and and you'd catch the conversation over over your shoulder. You're like unbelievable. You'd be like, (laughs) okay, so like on occasion, it's like diner conversation that you'd go home and be like. Can you believe? Guess but, now, on the di- <laughs> but now there are it's amplified. 50 million diner conversations. Diner spam. And they're all in our hands. Ladies and they're, gentlemen. They're right in our hands. Tim, so every time somebody opens their mouth and says something that you might, maybe, might have heard in the diner once or twice a year, every single day that diner conversation is in our hands over and over, over and over, and over again. again. Yeah. And I think that's what, that's kind of what drives me crazy, but that's why I have to say, People were like, "Well, the world's just not." Well, no, the world is has always been like this. Right, it's turns, always we've right. always been like this. But now yeah. there's this outlet. It's like when people talk about the world. Oh, the world's not what you should. Back in the good old days, mm-hmm. well, you know what? The good old days weren't so good for a lot of people. Not really, and, that's true. You know, true that. You know, you, you talk about the way. I think we live in an actually a kinder, better world. Well, of course, than we, we used to. Yeah, there's you know, there's violence the, in this planet now. We used to christen sh- the Vikings christen <laughs> ships with their enemies' heads. Yeah, no, it's no gotten joke. better. It's gotten you better. Know, now it's that we use a better. bottle of wine or champagne, <laughs> yeah. they use somebody's head. You know, the Vikings. You know, so whatever gushes. You know, better than we used to be. To <laughs> so, so anyway, that's you know, so you know, know what, Tim? That's, that's a wonderful, that's fantastic, and yeah, I think a real point here that he makes these these diner. Guys used to exist in diners here and there, but now they all sit in the same room, which is the internet, yeah. and it just and they, over. it's an echo Damn chamber it. as well. It's oh, an echo wow. chamber, yeah. exactly. It's an echo chamber, and so we can't, you can't you can't like delve into it too much, or you'll drive yourself crazy. Exactly. So you have to step yeah. away from yeah, it. Yeah, you got to step like, away. 
You know what? And at this That's point, this is when ADHD is a good thing. <laughs> oh, you bet. Cheers, Cheers to you, man. Cheers we'll to you. We'll give you a shot here. Fantastic. It couldn't have been a better segment on this, the first episode of the Holler Podcast. It's the show where we shout you out, people. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's what we're about to do right now. Shut you out or shout you out? (laughs) Yes. We're going to shut and shout you out. It's going to be fun. Let's kick it on on to the next thing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. Send your dick pics to Gracie. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's a new segment. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) No. That's not a segment. It's really just a transition. Oh. You, know that, you know that's going to happen. It's going to happen now. Oh, it's going to happen. I'm going to screenshot it. It's the internet. Sending all this in diner group chat. Hell yeah. Okay. I used to just I show her in the diner, but now I show it all over the place to Gracie. Send them to me. I'm screenshotting them. I'm putting them in the group chat. Go ahead. Go. Send them on. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, people. Uh, speaking of... <laughs> Fuckers. I hate both of you. We've been, we've been having so much fun with this. Let's let's jump into social media right now and talk yeah. about just silly silly stuff that we've asked everybody out there in the world. What's your opinion about our idea of things? Um, on the little break that we had earlier, uh, I had actually done a little exclusive uh, with Facebook earlier, but now I'm going to actually play some Snapchats here um, on this particular segment. I asked a bunch of people out in Holler Nation or hashtag Holler Nation. Um, I basically asked a simple question. I want you to get you involved. I want you to get on this show. Uh, what's your current go-to beverage? Uh, we had a lot of people talking uh, all their good stuff here, um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, play a few snaps from Snapchat. Uh, this one comes from Jeff Zimizak. He is a comedian. Um, I believe he's based in Florida right now. He's a very funny man. Uh, you can snap him at uh, Jeff Zimizak. It's spelled very weird. Uh, who cares? Whatever. Here we go. I'll <laughs> tell it. you my favorite go to yeah. beverage is Milwaukee's best ice and your fucking dad's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. You should <laughs> oh my God. This is so This is why, yeah, we're going to snap him back for sure. This is what's interesting about Snapchat. You have no damn clue what's about to happen. Nice. This next, uh, this next snap comes from Patrick Taft, he is an actor uh, based out of Kentucky right now. Uh, this guy is fantastic. He's going to be showing up on a uh, Amazon Prime show that's coming up soon. We're we might just him bring him around. around. He might actually be a guest on the show. Yeah, that's interesting. Cool. Right? Uh, yeah. It's going to be super cool. Um, Patrick, what do you got to say, man? Get a ray. Get a ray. Scissor. Scissor. Close second. <laughs> Scissor. Close second. Yeah, we continue the fuckery. Uh, he also just snapped us and told us when he's going to be in town. We might be able to actually book him on the show. That'd there you be go. awesome, uh, Patrick. Smoke weed every day. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this uh, snap is going to come from uh, Franny Coffee Hunley. Um, Hi. Oh, what's I up? My nephew's in there. Let me this see. is, actually, this is Gracie. This is your sister. Yeah. She's yeah, a new baby. I know she's my sister. Not everybody in the world knows that, though. They should know because you say it every time she snaps. Well, but this is the new sh- There is no every time, one. Gracie. This is number one. <laughs> You're horrible. All right, here we go. What's up, Freddie? I'm Franny freaking coffee. Hi. 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 I think that she had some, and now she's just chilling. Okay. With, if she didn't have it, it would have been way more frank. She reached cold. a plateau. <laughs> she did. I'm going to smash through the rest of these That's Snapchats, and then we'll move on to cool, more cool. stuff. Uh, why don't you pull up like a different social media on the next one? I'm on it. Yeah. yeah, everybody's on it. On this next ever. snap comes from Shay. Uh, she says this. Sweet tea. Yes. Flavored sweet tea. It's the shit. It's the shit. Thank you so much. Um, I'm really glad this person uh, snapped us. Uh, this girl's name is. Uh, Rachel. It's. Rachel. 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 Oh, got, got a little, got a little. Extended. Yeah, got a little hissy there. Sorry about that. Rachel. Rachel. A little hissy fit. <laughs> The soundboard is exploding. We're sorry. sorry about that. Uh, you can. Uh, she has a soundboard. That'd be a You guys can hear her uh, answer right here. What's up, Rachel? I didn't hear your little snap. 
snap because I'm at a bar. Oh, well. I like water. She likes water. If it's beer, shiner. If it's liquor, Tito's vodka. Ooh, that's a really good answer. She's, she's yeah. all Texas. Shiner. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, Shiner Bach. That's a throw. Yeah. That's yeah. a throwback there. That's a really yeah. good one. People don't really uh, mess around. Oh, because Tito's is Tito's is from Texas. Tito's right? is made in Austin, Texas, yeah, and made in yeah. Copper yeah. Still. Yeah. yeah. So Austin, she's Texas. she's a Texas. It's the she's actual right, only. You right. caught that fast. Yeah. It's the first true American vodka, which yeah. is pretty wonderful. Uh, this uh, I'm gonna play two more. That's yeah. it. Do it. Uh, this one comes from Adam. Um, I used to play uh, music with this gentleman. Uh, he's fantastic. Uh, what's your favorite? My go-to drink is Budweiser. Budweiser. The America of beers. The America of beers. <laughs> Budweiser. <laughs> Budweiser. <laughs> Thank you so Sounds much. like that Russian hacker guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fantastic. Uh, this next uh, deal is going to come from Nate. Um, his Snapchat handle is... Tiny pecker picks, all one word. His answer is, uh, this is Patricia. She loves LaCroix and green tea. This is what she said. Oh, he's actually taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the Holler Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. You really don't know what's going on. Let's see what he says. Oh, that's um, a shit. Same shit, different name. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, my God. That's a Tim, what have you gotten yourself into, that is man? spectacular. <laughs> The right. moment he realized he was in somewhere different than he expected. I am done. We're all human. <laughs> it's true. We all got to do yeah, it. All, we yeah. all got to make a fart noise. Uh, <laughs> in the age of Tim, organic, that's, Tim, that's we, as organic as it gets. Tim, would you mind? Can you do? Can you? Can you make a fart noise for us real quick? Oh, I actually do that all the time on the desk at work because we have a glass. I can't do it here because I I use my hand. Oh, it rubs go, against and it. And it rubs against and it goes. Oh, that's good enough for me. And, I'll take that one. I'll That'll do work. that when, when Keith Morehouse, who does sports at our station, <laughs> yes. so he's doing the sports, and Amanda Barron will be trying to, uh, if she's running the teleprompter, <laughs> like, we go back and forth. So if she's running the teleprompter right. for sports, I start doing that on the desk. Oh, and, just to get him. Just to get, and she starts laughing, and then she, like, oh, she doesn't keep up with the prompter, and I see him going like this. It's just, you know, we, we I love these behind the scenes. These are fantastic. Oh, a lot of fun like that. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian, what's up, dude? Do you want to do something? Or we, where, where are we going? Where are we going? Can we talk about our go-to drink? Because I've got one. Oh right yeah, now. we can. Yeah. yeah. Why not us? We're the you know we're the show. Let's I will go. tell you that this right now. What I've honestly there I have two, okay. but I'm gonna smash them real cool. quick. Uh, what I've been doing recently is taking hard cider and putting uh, cinnamon whiskey in it, oh. and and then I'll have like one of those, and I'm good for the evening. Like that's the bolt, that's the it. It's fantastic. Hard it tastes cider, great. Cinnamon whiskey. And cinnamon whiskey mixed together. Like, like fireball. Like taste? Angry Orchard and Fireball, or maybe Swill Dog, Walk the Dog. That's from uh, West Virginia. Yes, the, the West Virginia, which is great stuff. It's fantastic. They yeah. have so many cool flavors. One is an apple pie flavor. It's, it's a bit pricey. It is a bit pricey, but it's worth it because it's local and you're supporting yeah. a local company. Right. Yeah. Here, at least local for us here in West Virginia, um, but. Uh, you put a little of that cinnamon whiskey in it, it creates this really fun flavor. It's almost like a wussy boiler maker. I don't so know. you have like a 12 ounce can of that mixed right. with some cinnamon, and you're good for the night. And I'm done. cool because it gives you the buzz you need, and you, you just knock it right off. Interesting. Out, so. uh, then my other thing, uh, my other thing was just going to be uh, uh, there's a beer at the Peddler, which is a fun place downtown in yeah. Huntington. That's called Cardi C. Right, I saw that. Oh my god. It is a it is a sour ale that's dry hopped so it has like an IPA sort of flavor to it but it's also made with cardamom and carrot juice uh-huh. uh, you know Cardi B you know the- yeah. Yeah. it tastes like that <laughs> that's exactly what it tastes like when you taste it so those are my things uh, Brian how about you okay uh, yeah, right to now? follow um you see these chairs we're sitting in? I earned oh. these with Monster Energy tabs by drinking so many Monster Energy drinks. <laughs> they sent me gaming chairs. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> 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 Tim's face right now. Nope. It's hilarious. Not kidding at all. It gets better, Tim. Not only did they send me these chairs, they also sent me an electric guitar, a boombox, 
etc. That's how many I've consumed. Yeah. Okay. It's real. I'm like a walking science. How experiment. are you? Al- no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how are you alive? Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other question is. If I would have known that, I would have started the same thing. <laughs> they're, really they're, cool. they are Our very engineers nice. have these at work. They're very they're, nice. They're not, they're not the monster, but they're the gaming chairs, yeah, and they have those nice. at work, and that's what they, they yeah. use as their chairs. And I'm jealous, and I'm like, well, I could have had my own. All I have to do is drink this stuff. You yep. just got to drink 500 monsters. Just drink 500,000 monsters, yeah, yeah. and there you, go. there you go. I saved up a life. Like, this is a true story. I saved up a lifetime supply of monster energy tabs. Um, over the years, seriously, over the years. And I also had family members, if they drink one, please save it, give it to sure, me. Because I knew once Natural. a year, yeah. once a year, Mar- Monster would do an unlock the vault and give away yeah. some prizes yeah. if you were one of the first people. So, like, yeah. this year was my year. I had saved up all <laughs> these tasks. This was my year, baby. And uh, clearly, this year was my year. This is great. So, uh, like I said, all these great Those prizes. Are sharp. Yeah, yeah. They're great. They're fantastic. Yeah. Super comfy. Monster Energy. I'll shred on the electric part. guitar for you later, too. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gracie, how about you? Bev. I like Mountain Dew or sweet tea or water or I like loopy and cranberry or I like whiskey and diet. So that's a whole lot of them. That's a lot of many or, ones of them. Gracie does. See, Gracie does this. Yeah, she uh, does. You know, ch- hey, Gracie, choose one and she drifts and into she outer space. You know tea. why? Because they're mean to me and I just do what the fuck she, I she want. Really oh, yeah. She really does. She really does. She makes her own rules. It's true. Tim, how about you? What have you been like sipping on recently that you've enjoyed? Um, what do you like your go to? What do you crave? There is uh, there are a couple at Black Sheep, which is a local uh, establishment mm-hmm. that sells some locally brewed. Um, there is one called the Loud. Yes, which is really really good. Um, if you get a chance to try it, it's it's kind of hoppy and, and it's funny because at first I was like, eh, I'm not so. Great about the hoppy. I, I was mm-hmm. I liked stouts and I like. Ah, hops. so you developed. You went from the multi side of beer to yeah, the hoppier. But side. I also like because remember I told you I like Gino's and Giovanni's. Ah. I, like, I have them both. I there is not one. If you put it in front of me, I'm gonna have it. Right. Good. And and the Good only times. one that I old Milwaukee's best ice. <laughs> yeah. Light beast okay. ice. Yeah, all right. Okay. Old Milwaukee's best ice light. Somebody, we make porch, we make porch crawler punch out of that. Actually, we, uh-huh. we have parties and make punch <laughs> out of that. Beer. It's tough. I, I'll it's tell you what, you know, I, I a friend of mine called me on the way home when I used to do the morning shift. So that this is years, this is twenty <laughs> some years ago. So you crush so, a few ices and then so ju- he you said, grab that morning shift. Uh, he was like, dude, you've got to stop at Speedway. <laughs> they have cases of Milwaukee's best ice light. For three ninety nine, and I had a case for three. He was like, "Yes, three ninety nine. Okay, so I went to get it, and I got it. Took it home, opened the first can. And I was like, yeah. I, God, "It was like skunked. Like, yeah. it, it was skunked. Of yeah. It was skunked. Uh-huh. Like it wasn't bad, like bad beer. It, it was skunked. It was skunked beer. It was skunked beer." Yeah. So I poured it down the drain. I was like, well, <laughs> the next what's up with this one? I I, I drank. You know, so it skunked. I tried about five or six more. <laughs> Sips out of each, every single one was skunk, and I went. That's why they're selling it for three ninety nine. Uh-huh. I felt like taking it back to Speedway and saying to get a return. I want to return it for, for my okay. three dollars and ninety nine cents. They're all skunked beers. You'll have but to let me thought, know how that goes. I could put it out at the curb, and you know somebody will just come along and take it for like free beer. <laughs> oh wow! But then I thought that's cruel, and so I emptied each can, wow. poured it all down the drain, and, and, and for the homies, it. for the homies, and that yeah. was the one. Yeah, piece. yeah, because there were like five or six for me. And whole lot of homies. What, 18 for my homies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Uh, that's awesome. Um, where where we going next? Gracie, you want well, to Well, I just need you to know that Nate Staley said he brewed up that stinky stew just for Timothy. Oh, oh how about you? Disgusting. Thanks a lot, Nate. You disgusting. can also snap him on Snapchat at Tiny Pecker Picks. That is Tiny Pecker Picks. It doesn't sound like it's going to go good if you Snapchat this guy. Maybe you should. Um, <laughs> you should or shouldn't. Who knows? Okay, I have some answers from Facebook. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> um, Candy, who's in the house, mm-hmm. says McDonald's Coke. There you go. And then Sarah says McDonald's Coke is the bomb.com. Word. And then Susan Gore says it's motherfucking cranberry beverage season. Mm, it is. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, continue. Okay. That was for you, Susan. How many do you want me to read? 
Give us like three more. Okay. Just smash three Nina more. Nina Stone says black coffee. And nice. Like black coffee. That's a good, well, I mean, you got to have that wake, wake me up. Yeah. Dad Brian says vodka on ice, then topped off with a splash of vodka. Sure. <laughs> Kyle oh, the Jester okay. sent me a gift of Snow White literally chugging coffee okay. straight out of the Oh, oh wow. Yeah, that's a good gift. And then Gabriel Stabella. <laughs> this is my favorite gift of the whole one. <laughs> okay. It says, it's literally gluten-free water that'll fuck you up. And it's a gift of some weird guy holding white claws. White claws. Basically. Claws I knew you were somebody was going to throw the claws down. Knew it. Knew it was going to happen. Uh, Gracie, I'm going to give you a second to load up my social media question. I want you to load up the answers via Facebook. I'll open a couple via Snap, and then we can jump over to Facebook land cool. just because we posted Got both it. of our questions on it. Okay, so the question I posed, Tim, um, and I'll let you go ahead and kick this thing off before I open it. Yeah. Um, I want to know... What your social media handle this is going to be easy for you. I want to know what your social media handle is and why. How did you come up with that name? Huh? Uh, well, it was Irish Ear. Uh -huh. um, they made oh, me wow. change it. Uh, like on Twitter, I'm still Irish Ear on Instagram. Um, I'm W S A Z Ear okay. on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and I have a, a I, don't, I don't even have a real Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just have a. You know, it's, it's like a like, personality like a, page. Yeah, like it's a like local. A page. Yeah, yeah. Because it works. Um, I'm not going to share with you the the personal Facebook page that I have. <laughs> no, yeah, um, you don't have to. But I will show you, you guys mm -hmm. here. Okay. Uh, the picture. You get some exclusivity <laughs> here. I'm yeah. down for this. Of who? This is it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna shout it out. I, I'm not you sure what I'm seeing world? right here right now. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, we got the right yeah. guy for this, this time. Yeah. Okay. That's so, true. So, so that's your wow. So that's that's my. Could that's we call it a picture for? So uh, for, yeah. for Facebook and the reason why because they said well you at work they were like you have to have if you need to, if you're gonna share on the on the WSAZ main page. You have to have a, a, an actual Facebook You're page. You're like, here right? I am. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I have one. It says WSAZ. Or they're like, no, that's a work page. Mm -hmm. You have to have a real page that you can log on and put stuff. And I was like, oh, man. No, the last so. time I did this, uh, I, I had a Facebook page. And a bunch of like people that were I didn't know because it ended up it was a lot of viewers. were And I was like, yeah, friend, Started, friend, yeah, friend, yeah, friend, yeah, friend, yeah. friend, everybody. And, and then like, friend, it friend. became garbage day. All well, the time, five thousand. Like they yeah. cut you off at they five thousand. That's so right. They there's five thousand. They cut you off, and so a bunch of viewers. Like I don't know how many viewers we have, but like you a bunch can't of add, them. Yeah, they want to add you. So you I just do it. I, and so all these people were stacking up in the queue, and I couldn't do anything about it. And then they started sending messages like, "Oh, so you're too good to be my oh, friend." No. I was like, "Yeah, I want to be your no. friend, but I can't." You know, so I, I killed the page. Yeah. Just got rid of it. That's smart. No, you did the right thing. It just wasn't you did, worth you it. You definitely did the right well, thing. It wasn't worth it. it. Was it. Was it. Was it. And I think that happens with most personalities, uh, yeah. television, YouTube, whatever. Uh, you're going to end up getting to a point where it hits that limit, and then just silly, weird drama starts happening on the internet about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, so Irish Year is Irish the, Year was what it was. Yeah, Irish Year is what it was. It still isn't on Instagram. It still is on certain things. And on um, yeah, <coughs> and Instagram. And I would, I, I, I would like to say on Twitter as W S A Z Ear. Yeah. That's W S A Z I R R. Right. Um, you actually you use it to the best ability you possibly could as a local personality, in my opinion, because you're actually tweeting about active events that are happening, news events that are happening. You you're you're staying in tune with your community, and that's to me like that's kind of what a news personality needs to be. Well, doing. plus there's the scanner call of the night. Like I love. The, okay, yes, so let me, can I just yeah, say? Yeah. Can I? Can that I just? Becomes, and you, I loved your responses to scanner call. Like, and, and people respond to it. How do you? Where do you get? Okay, so just a quick. I'm gonna go ahead and just explain what this is. Tim here <laughs> likes to do something called the scanner call of the night, where. It's a police scanner. Because uh, we have them in the newsroom. You have them so in the, news, you have in the news. newsroom. That's how it works. And, so you and you'll get call. calls specifically from dispatch that will tell you what is going on precisely at that moment in town mm -hmm. that's being called about. But you somehow always have your ear to the ground for some of the most interesting ones 
that anybody could ever hear. Yeah. And, and I would just say if you if you don't if you don't follow WSAZ ear on Twitter, do it for this particular moment, for this particular reason. Just and share your scanner calls that you hear. If you yeah, if, if you, you hear like them too, and you're like, yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, I heard this great thing. Share them. We we post them on there. Like the best one we ever had. Okay. It's the scanner call of the century. It was what we Ooh. called it. <laughs> it says. They're saying, and like you have to do it in the dispatch. Do it in the dispatch board. Yeah, you have to put a hand up to your mouth. Yeah, there you go. They're saying she's naked. She's throwing furniture, and her strength is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's that last part. <laughs> and her strength is unbelievable. unbelievable. Which, like, I mean, nothing's... whole couches. <laughs> <laughs> like nothing says bath salts than that. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, that's it right there. <laughs> You know, that's mm. so, yeah, it's, it's fun. There like, you I go. Have, uh, we'll do uh, news, but we have a good time on Twitter. There you go. That's, that's good. That's good stuff. Uh, do you want us to keep amazing. going around, or do you want to? Yeah. yeah, let's keep going around. Uh, let's keep our, sh- like, short and sweet here. Please, mine, yeah. dude, mine is the Brian show on everything, and you may or may not know this, those that know me. Um, when I was 18, the, the movie of the year was 8 Mile. Featuring Eminem. The album that happened right before that, Tim, The Eminem Show. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, I made myself The Brian Show. I was a big, huge fan. And I just kept The Brian Show throughout. And now it kind of gets confused almost in podcasts where it's like, I'll snap somebody or, or post somebody and they're like, Am I on The Brian yeah, absolutely. Show? Can, can I, where can I watch it? Everybody's a part of The Brian Show. We're all, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a wording for we're all in it together. The, the, the show is the mob. Every, everything is the mob out there. So, there that's go. it. Uh, well, mine is just JD Short because. That's my name. Yeah. Next. There. Next. Oh. You know. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. She's not Gracie Mine Hunt. Is, no, <laughs> I know that because I, I looked on you, Twitter. You might have looked yeah. at her. Yeah. Mine is yourself. one wild Gracie. And don't ask me why it was that. Probably it was my chaos phase. And I just had Your to chaos think. phase. Chaos I was phase. a wreck for a minute. Oh, okay. Right. Not really. Right. Be wild. I was just a little bit of a party girl for a minute, oh, yeah. and there it was. Yeah, well, it stuck with you, didn't it? Yeah, sure the fuck did. I, I have to do <laughs> this yeah. every time I that happens. I found out the hard way because Gracie Hunt is a Kansas City Chiefs cheerleader. Oh yeah. wow! And can Funny, we get? Can up? we pull up her uh, her <laughs> picture real quick? Let's just shoot. verify that. Yep, yep, that's what she that's is. That's not me. She's a Kansas City Chiefs cheerleader. So I was like, Oh, I didn't know you did that. That's oh, really cool. Yeah, Kansas Kansas City this Chiefs is where you're coming. Yeah, and see, we yeah. even faced you out. So uh-huh. you thought uh-huh. you were Chiefs. Right, just like the Chiefs fans in this actual building right now. Right, right. Fantastic. So, okay. uh, Brian, let's uh, pull up some more stuff. I can't here. wait to open this one, and God only knows what it's going to say. This is a snap, so who knows? So, Gracie, while you're pulling up the Facebook, I'll pull up Snapchat. This first one comes from The Blumpkin King, and I can't wait to find out why he's named The Blumpkin King. Glory be. Here we go. He says, it's Jack Smellington, The Blumpkin King. Need I say more? Dot dot dot. Okay. Yeah. Tim, do you know what a blumpkin is? Uh, is it something having to do with Nightmare Before Christmas? In this particular case, it is. But I'm just going to go ahead and just explain right now yeah, on this podcast right. this what a blumpkin Diction? is. I think it's going to get Two WSAZs, Tim here. Uh, this is from Urban Dictionary. Yeah, it's uh, be good. Tim, a blumpkin. A blumpkin is when uh, a significant other is giving you oral sex while you're taking a defecation. To the, I'm into the toilet. Why does this guy have me? Maybe that's what that. Maybe that's what that guy was doing. <laughs> From before, when he had the a other smile thing, on his face, he I'm was. Just saying, you know. Also, he looked like a woman when he was doing it. So wow, I got interesting right there. Lucky for us, we've got the king of it right on our show. So there you go. Moving on. Now, this next one comes from V. She's actually an audience member in the house. What a weird um, show we do. V, tell us where you get your your social media handle from. Four threes. So that's how you hit BB's 33, 33. Okay. Yeah, for, for years we, we, thought, were, yeah. We, were, we thought it was going to be more eventful. It was not. No, she's, she warned us of that also. This is true. Well, she, said that. she has a professional career that she's... That's true. Yeah, you got to kind of, you know... 
you gotta keep going. And he's not listening to this show. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you, she has been on, the sh- uh, on our earlier show before many times. We get a little wild on it. I've got a great one right here. Okay, here we go. This one comes from listener Todd Purdue. Todd, we want to shout you out. His social media handles are, his name's Todd Purdue. His handles are at Todd Perdont. Oh. Here we go. Here's the story. And I, I, I did not know this story existed. This is fantastic. This is a real story. I'm excited. I mean, you'd figure you'd understand what it was. Todd Perdont. Before the, okay. Todd says, I don't think this is embarrassing, but since it's still my name and my wife already knows the story, in college, Girls in one certain sorority used to tell their friends, do not go home with Todd Purdue. Eventually, they got clever with it and said, Todd Purdue, don't go home with him. (laughs) 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 Todd, I never knew this. This is one of my really good friends. This is amazing. I know. I mean, that's the perfect soundboard thing. (laughs) It's like such a letdown. It's like, you just admitted that about yourself. But But that's, you you know... That's the Holler you know, podcast. Has a wonderful in that family show. But he must have just it, just an incredible self worth, you know, to be able to <laughs> yes. talk like that. Yeah, clearly. I'm clearly. sure. He, I'm sure he has a wonderful family. I know that for right now. Tim, you're gonna like this one. The next one comes from Ty. You can snap her at Steeler Girl with some numbers, and there she says, go. "I love the Steelers." Laugh out loud. There, there you go. go. There you yeah. go. And we need all the help we can get this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True that. It's tough. Especially now. This next snap comes from yeah. Sal. She says her go-to username is Dick Slexic. I just thought it was hilarious. I honestly don't remember how it came about. It. <laughs> well, it's starting with Dick. Right. I mean, we'll probably, probably figure, yeah, probably yeah. figure things out right there. You know, Gracie, what do we have in Facebook world? I'm out of Snapchat. Jeez. Uh, um, Adam Inman said, I tried my name. It was taken. Put an underscore in there. Boom. Adam underscore Inman. Boom. There you go. There you go. Um, Corey Gresham. Says, I used to have my own radio station. My last name is Gracial. Gracial? Is it really? Yeah, it's Gracial. It? It's pronounced Gracial. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Sorry, my bad, Corey. I pronounced it wrong for my whole life. And I have a PhD in. What? Get it. Just get it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> what do you do it? Let me do it? Yeah, the last word. Did you misspell it? I would just blow. Cryptozoology, I think, is what he's trying to say. Yeah, that's what I thought, but there's no P in there. There's no P in there. There's no P in there. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm just bored. Do I know you um, are. Megan Boggs says it was my old aim, aim screen name. Yeah, I am. Yeah, at a time it. when girls used X's and O's in their screen name. Megan was my first AOL... Tim, did you have a name screen name? No, okay. I didn't because I, I I wasn't I was MSN. Oh, you, oh, you did that. Oh, ICQ okay. was one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Rachel says your mom's name was taken. Damn. Mm. Nice words. <laughs> um, oh gosh, this is a good one. Susan, who is AKA Pupe Butt. Pupe Butt. I used to call people Pupe Butt on Tumblr, and it was brought to my attention when I was like 17 that if you Googled that word and looked at Google Images, there was a picture of me. <laughs> what? What? And no, also, I mean, you say it enough on the internet, it ends up showing oh, up yeah. on the Google really, results, oh. and then it just Say Pupe Butt enough, you become Pupe Butt. <laughs> you become Pupe Butt. Uh-huh. And also, if you, hold it, if you keep your it. face that way, it's going to stay that way. All right, that's the next one, sorry. And also, a picture of flies on someone's poopy butt. I've been in the process of moving on from it because people don't think poop is funny anymore and they laugh at that me. That is wrong. I that think it's funny. hilarious. Yeah, you laugh. Sorry. Noise. Um, Kyle the Jester says, I usually use the Jester 304. The Jester is my stage name and I came up with it as a metaphor for an entertainer with the facade. No one knows what's behind the mask, face paint, and nice. you can just see the smile. 304 because I was born and raised in... I was born. I was three or four born and raised, and the six eight one area code is fake news. Oh, <laughs> what is that six eight one? <laughs> Y'all, I I think that we are gonna have to call for the evening. I think it's been an absolutely wonderful program. I think we've been having a blast with you. Let's just scoot on to the next little thing here before we uh, go ahead and carry sure. on. One girl and a bottle of Jaeger. What could go wrong? It's Holler. 
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for checking out the first official episode of the Holler Podcast, or just Holler, that's what we like to call it. Um, it it's been a blast. Yeah, Tim, have you fun. had a good time? I have had a great time, and I, I just learned that 681 is just an overlay for 304. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He's you you just learned that? I, just learned, I mean, I knew I've seen a bunch ah. of 681. Everybody, I was like, oh, that must be the new thing for... But I never really bothered, because I was like... That's not me. I'm 304. You're right. Yeah. I'm, OG. So, I'm OG. I'm OG. OG yeah. I'm OG. Do you remember dialing numbers without area codes? Even you just dial the number and it went to you like your grandma's house. That's what I, I remember that like when you you call it like you crank, there was a crank. Yep. And crank. you crank it and you go, Dolores, can you connect me to Brown? <laughs> party, oh. party lines. Party yeah. lines, right? <laughs> but I, I remember like here and here and any time you watch an old movie, there they do that kind of stuff, and I'm, it fascinates me. Like it, is, it is true, and, and, and the way that it's always jumped to new stuff. And now, like, yeah. like we're talking about phones, but right now we're all using our phones to use all this social media, different kind of phone, all right? this stuff yeah. we've been doing for this podcast. It's been a blast. That uh, that eighties jam eight six seven five three zero nine. Yeah. That was actually a Chesapeake, Ohio oh, phone. Sure. <laughs> and uh, oh, and I shit, yeah, my weird. my cousin was actually like friends with a person that like that phone number would ring, and she was like, "Damn they it, that's my it. number." Right. Like, yeah, that was the, that was what I heard. They had to change it. So yes. it's like everything old is new again. And like we will sit here, people will sit on their porches or in their houses listening to this, just like my. You know, grandparents or great grandparents did when they'd sit around like listening to the radio. You know, so yeah. people are radio it's shows really funny and serials. How things have changed. It's wild, but, but also how they've kind of stayed the same. Stayed the same. Because we yeah, still we're want still to hear interesting like, things from people interesting people. Um, and that's what this show again is all about. Holler is the podcast. We shout you out on the show. Um, we we play your stuff here. We we want you to get involved. So here's the deal. We're going to tell you guys how you get involved with the show. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, you can follow us at facebook.com slash official holler pod. That's all spelled out as one deal. You can follow us on Twitter at official underscore holler. You can also do the same thing on Instagram as well. Um, we are on Snapchat all individually. We'll get more of that information to you in the future. Those are the, the, the deals that you kind of want to get into uh, first, though. Get, get at us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. But I also want to give you our hotline number. The Holler Hotline is area code 681. Again, holla. holla. Area code 681-378-2099. Again, that is 681-378-2099. You can leave us a voicemail. That's 24-7. 24-7. If you want to just call and say, you guys are great, or you guys suck, you feel can free add, to Or do ask it. us a question, or, or tell a silly story, or make a Anything. silly character up and mm -hmm. do it. If we get to feel that stuff, we'll put it on. If, it, if it, you think it's funny, chances are we're going to think it's funny. So put it on this show. We're, we're here to make you guys have a good time. Look how much stuff we laughed at tonight. I mean, it's insane the things we've even touched on. I, I don't even know where to begin with all the things we've talked about. Um, so those are our hotlines. That's our social media. Gracie? Yes? How the hell are you doing? What's up? I'm good. Cool. Not I'm sick anymore. I'm glad. I'm very, very happy. Guys, I want to throw just a little bit of a curveball right here at the very end. We've got Tim on the show. We may as well do it. Tim, I'm going to say, let's just rack these out as quick as we can. We've got a handful of ask ears. Let's give them just a 10-second yeah, answer. Second answer. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's play the first one. Here we go. That's a juicy question. That is good. What if they can't catch me? <laughs> yeah, a juicy answer, there baby. Go, Let's go. Here we go. Let's go another one. Yep, next. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep playing that character. I yeah. please do it. Please do it. I can't wait to hear the next answer. Here we go. Keep going. Hey Tim, it's Cole Woodard from Jacksonville, Florida. I just have a question for you. Crunchy or creamy peanut butter? Hell yeah. Wonderful. Crunchy. I'll I'll do both, but crunchy definitely if I have my choice. Yes. yes. Hobby that you have that people don't 
a great question. Ooh. Sexy said again, what was the, what the was strangest the question? hobby that I have that people don't know about? Okay. A 10 year old named Alex. A 10 year old from named Illinois. Alex just asked wow. that. Ten, you have to answer yes, it. Yes, and, and absolutely stumped me because uh, strangest hobby that people don't know about. Okay, well, here's one that people don't know about. I, I, I want to get them. I'm sitting here in the background, and Sons of Anarchy is on, and it reminds okay. me that as of. Next spring, I want to get my first motorcycle I've ever had. Oh, wow. Life. Dude. I want to get a Harley. That is fantastic. So there we go. <laughs> Haven't done it yet, but I want to. I'm going to come to force them to get me a motorcycle helmet for Christmas. That's the start. If I get a motorcycle helmet for Christmas, that will force the issue. And Wait, okay. have you rode before? No, not <laughs> since I was a teenager. Well, then you have rode. I mean, if you were well, a teenager. Yeah, I, mean, I was a teenager. Gotcha. It's been, you know, that, that, was, that was eons ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This just in, Tim is going to get a motorcycle now. That doesn't work when I do it. When I do it, it doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't work very well. You need cold stone. I do need to bring back that person. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being here uh, and hanging out with us on the internet, uh, listening to our podcast, hanging out with us on Facebook Live, uh, sending us your answers on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all these different things. We're, that's what we're all about. It's, it's holler. It's holler. Y'all, holler, 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 holler. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, I do want to shout out, uh, you can hit us up on social media at a bunch of different places, but the major place to go to is officialholler.com. That is officialholler.com. Dot com, all one word. That'll have everything there. Uh, we're still working on the site right now, but it's going to be live in days. 48 to 72 hours from this show. It's going to happen. I'm, I'm telling you, it's about to go down. Tim Ear, thank you so much. Uh, you uh, have been fantastic. Can we give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, That's number one. Episode number one. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm, this, are, is, this is a thrill. I'm really so happy. Ridiculously thank you so worthy. much for having me on. Uh, thank you for being here. You can follow him on Twitter at wsazirr.com. Oh, we just got a nice little just coin like there. That. Nice. Um, thank you so much. I would like to uh, give a shout out to uh, the band Zugma uh, for their song Jerry Diesel. It comes from their record Recreational Vehicles. That's our theme music that we've done for here uh, on this oh. wonderful show. It's fantastic. You can check out that record and all their other awesome music on Spotify, Apple Music, all the other different things. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with us this evening. We've had a blast. Uh, we'll see you next time on Power. Farm Fresh Butt Nights. Okay, I'm turning the heat back on.